summer go it wasn't the most ideal summer depending how you look at it we got a bit of a late flurry towards the end and hopefully that late flurry we've had in the last month or so will continue into autumn we'll get a warmer autumn i hope so i love summer i always suggest as the seasons change it's a good opportunity to sit down and just have a look at where we are or how we're traveling on our life's journey not just in the exercise realm Let's look at our family life, our work life, our friendships and relationships. Are we being the best person we can be to those closest to us, to those in the workplace? Are we giving our best at work, at home? And then of course the exercise, also important. Usually we find ourselves on a pretty, a pretty good high coming off summer coming off the start of the year because we tend to be more motivated we've set some goals perhaps we've set some resolutions if you're into new year's resolutions and so after january and february it's easy for that the high that we've been riding to suddenly deflate maybe slightly as we know that the cooler months are coming so it's a good chance to sit down have a look at are you on track for your goals do we need to reevaluate their goals do we need to reset them maybe change some timelines, maybe things haven't gone as well, maybe there's been some sickness or some longer holidays or things getting in the way that have prevented us getting everything done we'd like to get done. So perhaps we're just a bit behind. Now's a good time as the seasons change from summer to autumn to reevaluate those goals and perhaps set some new ones. If you find yourself someone who maybe struggles a bit during those months of the year where the temperatures start to drop, the days get start to get shorter, maybe you need to set some goals for that particular time to help yourself stay motivated to help yourself stay active and on track towards your goals to make sure that the year is the best it possibly can be i'll see you next month everyone Okay, everyone it's our exercise spotlight for the month for our newsletter and this month we're focusing on the shoulder region we're going to do, I'm, going to, I'm going to show you three exercises that you can do to help tone strengthen the shoulders now you need some light weights now I've brought my dumbbells with me today down here to limestone lake at the foundations if you don't have dumbbells don't fret you can use water bottles you can use cans from the cupboard soup baked beans anything like that um, I've said the water bottles we've got shoes where where you can hold a pair of running shoes for the exercise uh, books might work maybe a bit hard to grab but something like that um, if you want to go a bit heavier something like bricks something you can hold in your hands is ideal and something with similar weight on each side obviously okay so three exercises the first one is the standard shoulder press so for the standard shoulder press we have the palms facing forward in front of the shoulders and we push straight up so we get full extension of the arms and back down in front of the shoulders. Now we're gonna do 10 of them. Now important here too, that we're not leaning back as we push up. We wanna keep the body nice and straight, pull the belly button in, so we've got the core muscles activated. And we're gonna do 10 of them. So pushing up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten for the second exercise <clears throat> we're looking at lateral raises so again with our weights holding in front of the body arms straight palms facing in towards each other we're going to keep the arms straight we're going to go out to shoulder height keeping the arms straight remember and bring it back down to the front of the body 
And again, like with the shoulder press, making sure as we lift up, we're not leaning back. We want to keep ourselves nice and tall, pulling the belly button in, core muscles activated. Okay, let's do 10 of these. Arm straight to shoulder height. One, two, three, four, five, halfway there, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then for the third exercise, we're going to do the front arm raise. Puts more focus on the front of the shoulders where the lateral raise was the side of the shoulders, the medial deltoid muscle. For the front arm raise, you're going to have a weight in each hand, or if you've got a slightly heavier weight, you could go a weight between two hands, holding like so. And again, we're going to do 10 of them. So we start with the arms straight in front of us, palms facing in towards the body. Again, remember, just like the other two exercises, we don't want to be leaning back. We want to keep ourselves nice and tall. Um, the core muscle is activated by pulling the belly button in towards the spine. And we raise it up to shoulder height for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice and controlled movement as well. And ten. So they're the three exercises to focus on the shoulders this month. Um, as I said, good for toning the shoulders and strength, depending on what weight you're using. I'd suggest perhaps doing it as a circuit. So just like we did, do 10 of the shoulder press, do 10 of the lat raises, do 10 of the front arm raises, give yourself a 40 second rest, repeat, give yourself another 40 second rest and repeat a third time. I'd suggest doing it up to three times during the week and make sure you have a day off in between each time you do it. Enjoy working the shoulders this month, everyone. everyone from Ant Fitness and Active Ants. I'm really excited to be here to share as part of the Ant Nest news some really, it's a good news story of our Active Ants Kids Fitness program. Now these days there's a lot of focus I guess or the kids get a lot of attention, the younger generation get a lot of attention for the amount of time they spend on screens and computer games and being inactive. Our Active Ants Kids Fitness program, which is designed for 3 to 12-year-olds, was missing during those COVID years. And we were finally able to reintroduce it in full um, in Term 4 of 2022. And it was so pleasing to see so many parents enroll their children in the Kids Fitness program. We had to actually put it on a second day. And so over two days, Monday and a Tuesday, we had nearly 30 kids taking part in fitness activity here at Active Ants Ant Fitness. To add to that good news, we were able to introduce our school holiday program. And again, it was a resounding success. It gave the kids an outlet, an activity to do right here in Portland during the Christmas school holidays. And they got to be active at the same time. Added bonus. And then in turn one this year, we've had another successful enrollment of the Active, Active Ants Kids Fitness program. Uh, where we've got nearly 20 kids taking part every Monday afternoon for eight weeks. Keep an eye out if your kids haven't taken part yet in the Active Ants Kids Fitness Program. We will be offering it again. So keep an eye out on the socials or on the website. I'll put them both there at the bottom of the screen for you. You can use your service New South Wales Active Kids vouchers to enroll your kids. The $100 vouchers will cover the cost of the eight week program and your child or children get a piece of Active Ants merchandise along with it. So, it's great to see so many kids active. And as we say at the end of every Active Ants Kids Fitness class, one, two, three, Active Ant! See everyone. <laughs>
guess the name of the class. social media right there at the bottom of the screen at antfitness.au on Instagram or Facebook and I'll reveal the answers to you. Spotlight is on a hillbilly session we do every Friday night. It's called Mill Pond Miles and we hold it right here at the Mill Pond in the Foundations, Portland, New South Wales. We meet at the Mill Pond Gates at 6 pm and for half an hour your objective is to complete as many laps around the Mill Pond as you can. Then your personal goal is to come back, whether it be the next week or the week after, and improve on the number of laps you've completed. Millpond Miles is great whether you're a walker, a seasoned runner or maybe someone starting out on their running journey because it's all up to you how many laps you can complete in that 30 minutes. The lap itself around the Millpond which includes a bridge, some stepping stones and trail is 730 metres. The Hillbillies has had an objective for 2023 to see how many laps we could complete as a group by the end of March. Now as we enter into March we're sitting at 164 and a half laps. The goal we set at the start of the year was 300. So we're getting there, but we need help. So come along every Friday night, 6 p.m., meeting at the Millpond Gates behind the Anglican Church at the western end of Willowa Street, and join the Hillbillies and see how many Millpond miles you can complete in 30 minutes. everyone's favorite part of the newsletter right here online I love this section it's important to have a good laugh and so here is the ant joke of the month why do male ants float so well in water why do male ants float so well in water because they're boy ant <laughs> thank you I'll leave you with it Okay, everyone, get the calendars off the wall, get the diaries out. It's time to write down the important running race dates for your calendar so you can plan ahead. What training do you have to do? What events are you going to pick? We've got some big ones lined up this year for Ant Fitness and the Portland Hillbillies. Okay, got your diary, got the calendar, got the pen, let's go. So we're the start of March. This week, this weekend, we've got the Orange Running Festival. Now they offer the mile race for men, women and juniors. That's on the Saturday. And then on the Sunday, 
you've got 5k, 10k, half marathon and marathon options. So that's the 4th and 5th of March. Orange Running Festival, the entries close on the Saturday for your races on the Sunday. So you've still got time to enter if you've been training. Okay, locally, by the end of March, the last weekend in March, it's a big weekend of running actually locally. Lithgow Ridgey Ditch Running Festival is on. There's a range of races there from kids right up into ultras. Check out the Blue Mountains Fitness website or Facebook page, Blue Mountains Fitness, to find out all your details and how you enter there. It's held in Lithgow at the Pony Club. Um, it's a start and finish area and it enjoys the ridges and the climbs and the descents around Hassan's Wall. Okay, on the same weekend, on the Sunday, the Volcanic Challenge in Orange, which the Antfitness Running Group has gone to for numerous years. We haven't been there for the last few years with COVID and such, but the Volcanic Challenge is there, the opportunity to run up or walk Mount Canobolis, 11 Ks. It's a tough one, but definitely worthwhile when you get to the top and the views and the sense of accomplishment. That's the last Sunday in March. Okay, locally as well, Katoomba is host to UTA Ultra Trail Australia. That is on the Mother's Day weekend. Mother's Day weekend in May. There's a range of different races there. Some still have entries open. Um, there is a kids race. There's 11 Ks, there's a 22 Ks, and then you've also got the 50 K and the 100 K. I'll be running the 100 K, my first official 100 K, and I'm running it for the Heart Foundation. So if you don't want to take part in UTA, come along and support me and see me out there on the course doing 100 Ks or for the Heart Foundation. Okay, we've got three big ones to talk about. Gold Coast, Gold Coast Marathon Weekend. Now there's a range of races at the Gold Coast Marathon Weekend. You've got the two kids races, you've got a 5K, a 10K, a half marathon, and the famous Gold Coast Marathon as well. We want to take a group of runners up from Ant Fitness, from Portland and surrounding area, to the Gold Coast this year. We last went up in 2015. That's eight years ago. And I think we had about 12 people go with us that year. And we had a range of races being covered. Let's see how many we can get there this year. Contact me, please. I'll put the details right there at the bottom of the screen for you. Contact me if you're interested in meeting up on the Gold Coast for the Gold Coast Running Weekend. It's the marathon. First weekend in July. Well worthwhile. Next one, now this is a hillbillies outing as well. The famous, iconic, City to Surf in Sydney on the 13th of August. That means you have, what have we got? Five months, everyone, to train. Five months to cover the distance of 14 Ks. So we're ready to start at Hyde Park in the city and finish at the famous Bondi Beach. We've got some accommodation booked for some hillbillies. So if you want to snap up one of those rooms, again, Contact me on the details below. I'll send you the info and let's see how many people we can get down to City to Surf. Remembering you can walk it, you can run it, you can walk and run it, and you can dress up and really get in the festivities of the famous race on the 13th of August. And the final one, our very own Ant Fitness Born to Run Festival on the October long weekend, the Saturday of the October long weekend. And just to make it confusing, that Saturday falls on the 30th of September. The last day of September is the Saturday. And so the Born to Run Festival this year will have, as always, the kids race, the 2K kids race, the 5K, the 10K, and a special announcement, the half marathon, the inaugural half marathon for the first time. 2K kids race, 5K, 10K, and a half marathon all right here inside the foundations. It's a trail running paradise. So check out the Born to Run website. I've got it there at the bottom of the screen. And entries are opening this month, right now, in March. Get ready, it's time to start training. Calendar, job done, pens down. Let's start training, get the running shoes on. I'll see you at an upcoming running event. Everyone, that brings us to the end of the March edition of the online video edition of the Ant Nest News. I hope you've enjoyed this first edition. Please send me an email, send me a direct message via Facebook or Instagram, and let me know what you thought, what you'd like to see more of, what you'd like to see less of perhaps. And until I see you next time, whether it be online on a Zoom class, face-to-face -face in person at the Ant Nest for a group training session, be active everyone.